Hey everyone, Joy McCarthy here, holistic nutritionist of joyoushealth.ca. A lot of you ask me what I think about caffeine, specifically what I think about coffee. So this video is for you, um, all the people who ask me in my daily sessions and even on my YouTube channel. So I am not a coffee hater. Despite what you might be thinking, your preconceived notions, I am a holistic nutritionist, therefore I must hate caffeine. I don't hate caffeine. What I don't like is what it does to people, and I don't like the negative side effects that it does to some people. Now, it doesn't do that to everybody. This is why you have to assess your individual health, where you're currently at, what your stress levels are like, what your sleep patterns are like, how much anxiety you have, and then based on that, decide whether drinking coffee and other caffeinated beverages is good for you. So all I want to do is present with you some facts, present you with some facts and tell you some information and then you can better decide if you think drinking, you know, your big Starbucks, you know, grande coffee in the morning is good for you or not because there's not a straight black and white answer. It all depends on you. So there is a study. There are a million studies out there to show the positive effects of caffeine. For example, there are studies to show that it can help you lose weight faster. There are studies to show um, that it can affect your estrogen levels. This could be good, this could be bad. It depends on what your estrogen levels currently are. Uh, there's also studies to show that it helps with brain health, so helps to prevent Alzheimer's. Now on the flip side, caffeine can promote sugar cravings, it can promote low energy because you have that high high followed always by a low. Um, it can promote anxiety. It also is really hard on your adrenals. If you have adrenal fatigue or if you're on the road to adrenal fatigue, meaning you have a lot of stress, your adrenal glands secrete stress hormones that helps the body deal with stress. But if you, if you are in a very stressful situation for a long period of time, and you're abusing coffee, drinking way too much coffee, not getting enough sleep, eating refined carbs, eating sugar, then yes, eating, drinking coffee is bad for you because you're constantly beating up on your adrenals. So this is why if you are a really healthy person and once in a while you have a coffee and you feel fine and you're sleeping okay and it doesn't promote anxiety or blood sugar imbalance or cravings, then I say why not? Have your coffee. If you really enjoy the taste, and you don't have negative side effects from it, then once in a while is fine. Even one cup, of day, one cup a day of coffee is fine. However, if you suffer from any amount of anxiety, then I definitely do not recommend caffeine. That's only going to promote it because it's a stimulant to your nervous system. If you find that you don't sleep well, even if you're only having one cup of coffee a day in the morning, and you find that at night you lie in bed and you feel like your brain is still so active, yet your body is tired, but you just can't get to sleep, try cutting out even just that one cup of coffee a day for an entire week and notice how much better you sleep, how much more energy you have. It seems so counterintuitive. It's so interesting because when I talk to my clients who are drinking three, four cups of coffee a day and yet they have no energy, it is counterintuitive to think that you would have more energy by cutting back, but you actually do. Because when you are tired and you then drink coffee to stimulate your, um, sorry, to stimulate your nervous system, that's like putting someone who's tired on a treadmill and injecting them with something to make them run really fast. Do you think that they're going to be, you know, more energized and feel better after running for two hours on a treadmill when they've already been tired? That's kind of what you're doing to your body. You're overstimulating your um, nervous system when you're already tired. So I'm not saying that everyone needs to cut it out. I certainly enjoy my almond milk lattes a few times a week. I'm probably getting about 75 milligrams of caffeine. But what I am saying is that you just need to assess your individual reaction to it. Now before I go, the last thing I want to tell you is if you do drink you know, more than one cup of coffee a day and you want to cut it out, I don't recommend, please do not cut it out all at the same time. You actually need to do a coffee detox. So say you're drinking three cups of coffee a day. What I would suggest is you cut back to two for the first week. Then the second week you cut back to one and a half and then the third week cut back to one 
and then slowly wean off if you're wanting to completely eliminate it. I know for myself, when I used to be like totally addicted to cappuccinos many years ago, I always felt so incredibly tired and my mood would lower like mid-afternoon. As soon as I cut that out, I could not believe the difference in my energy. So I hope you've enjoyed my health video joyous tip today and I hope it actually did help you to decide if you think that coffee is a good thing for you or not. And I hope you have a joyous, wonderful day.